My name is Ada McBean and I'm a science communicator with the McGill Office for Science and Society. There are so many myths about mosquito repellents. Um, besides just the kind of base chemophobia, people are scared of DEET, even though it works very well and it's been very well researched, it's very safe. But people are scared of it just because it's got a big long chemical name. Also, there are a lot of old wives tales. So people think that if you eat a lot of bananas, um, that mosquitoes will be either more attracted to you or repelled from you, depends on who you ask. That's not true. They think that if you take a vitamin B supplement, mosquitoes will be repelled from you, and that's not true. Um, there's all kinds of ideas about what you should or shouldn't wash your hair or clothes with, but in the end it mostly comes down to scents. So you want to stick to unscented products, unscented detergent and shampoo and soap. If you're determined to not put something onto your skin, then your best bet are clip-on devices that go on your belt and they release something called a mitoflothrin. And that works, not as well as DEET, but it can work. Essentially, it just uses a fan to distribute a cloud of mosquito repellent around you. Um, likewise, citronella candles use heat to distribute a cloud of repellent around them. They don't work so well, but there is um, candles made of gerianol or linalool, which are components of citronella oil, and those can work a little bit better, but they only work if you stay in one place. So if you're having a barbecue, or sitting around a campfire they might help but if you're walking in the woods you're not gonna get any help from wristbands releasing citronella because it can't build up around you so the first line of defense you should always be looking at is um, physical barriers so you want to put nets on your windows on your doors you want to close as many screens as possible if you can it'll look dorky but you should wear the mosquito netting around your head um, and especially with babies because not children under the age of six months and especially two years shouldn't usually be using all types of repellents that a Adults use. So if you can put them in playpens and cribs and cover those with fine mosquito netting, it's usually a lot safer. Um, and you also want to wear as much clothing as possible. I know it's not easy when it's 30 degrees, but if you can cover your legs and arms, then mosquitoes are much less likely to bite you. So according to entomologists across Quebec, um, the mosquitoes are actually worse this year than they have been in previous years. And that's in part due to the flooding that we had in Quebec and in part due to the heavy rainfall we've had. Um, because most mosquito species breed in standing water, anytime there's standing water, we're gonna get a bigger outbreak of mosquitoes. They lay more eggs, you get more bugs, and then the cycle continues as though bu those bugs lay more eggs. So hopefully we won't get as much flooding because that's very catastrophic for obviously those whose houses were flooded, but also because it has long-standing effects in the mosquito population. Thank <laughs> you.